Times are especially tough for America's small businesses right now. The White House has promised to start giving out the $350 billion in loans allocated to them in the stimulus bill by the end of this week. Now, joining us now is Rob Retzlaff, who is the chief of staff with the Connected Commerce Council, a trade association for small businesses that utilizes digital tools and platforms. Rob, thanks for joining today. Uh, let's say you're a small business that can apply for one of these loans by the end of this week. What does the timeline look like from there? Yeah, thanks for having me on, Brad. Um, so basically what it uh, entails is the SBA has an online application. If you go to sba.gov, um, you've simply just create an account to fill out the application. And there are various types of loans available right now. The one that the White House is talking about is the emergency um, loan application for disaster type relief. And essentially what that is, is after you create your account um, and you submit your forms and financial statements, the turnaround time is fairly quick. Um, they're saying it takes around three days for it to process as long as you have all of your forms and information um, correct and available. So essentially three days is what they're saying. Um, as you know, SBA is a little overwhelmed with all the applications and uh, traffic on their website. So I recommend doing this, you know, usually off hours between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m., uh, usually when traffic is a little bit slower. And so these are being administered by the Small Business Administration, the SBA. So how does one go about applying for these loans? Good question. So all you have to do is really go to sba.com or .gov uh, to create your account and manage your loans. Uh, from there, you just want to prepare the right IRS forms and financial statements. Um, one of those statements is a personal financial statement, also known as the SBA Form 413. Um, they'll also request a couple of other uh, statements like the SBA Form 2202, which is your schedule of liabilities listing all the fixed debts that you have um, and your most recent filed federal income tax. And if you haven't filed your income taxes yet, uh, a P&L statement and balance sheet of your most recent year is sufficient. And so these loans are forgiven after a certain amount of time if you retain your staff. What if you've already had to lay off some of those staff members? So good question. If um, according to the stimulus package that was passed last week, uh, even if you've already laid off employees, um, you still can qualify um, for this emergency relief funding. Um, I highly recommend even if you aren't thinking about going through the application process as a small business and you don't think you might need this funding, highly recommend starting the application process right now just to get ahead of the game, just because you never know what could happen nor how long this could last. Right. And, and so tell us what you're telling members of your association when they ask for tips, how to survive right now. Yeah, so we've put together a list of tips on our website, connectedcouncil.org. And essentially, it's how small businesses and entrepreneurs can protect themselves to get through the next couple of months. Um, our first tip is to protect yourself first and your employees, your customers and your community. Um, if you're deemed an essential business, and you're still able to operate, try to limit the number of people entering and exiting your store. And if they're inside your store, make sure that they maintain a six foot radius. Um, provide gloves and hand sanitizer at the entrance and exits. Um, and one of the things that I've seen recently is turning off the uh, tip screen on your payment processing uh, machine. So that way, it's only the employee taking the card, taking payment, and you can ask the customer if they'd like to tip or round up to the nearest dollar. So that way you don't have everyone touching the screen. Um, second tip that I so, have is to help your employees. Um, to many small business owners, the employees are like family to them. And it's crucial that they try and continue to find ways right. to work together. Um, and, and under Rob, the family's first. Yeah, sorry, just quickly, nope. we're running out of time here. What do you want to see from the government for small businesses that isn't being talked about right now? You know, right now, I think we're going to see another iteration of a stimulus package. Um, right now, small businesses, we've talked to numerous of our members over the last couple of weeks, and they all say that they need cash. They need cash right now. And, um, you know, the stimulus package includes about $349 billion um, in aid to small businesses right now. But there's going to need to be more money. So I think right now, just we'll keep our eyes open for more money to hit that stimulus package.
Yeah, absolutely. Rob Retzlaff, who is the chief of staff with the Connected Commerce Council. Thank you so much for joining us here today in the time. Thanks, Brad.